alternative policy for clean energy. Because global warming is affecting us more than we think, and saying that's quicker than we think. And also with the population increasing, it's more important now than ever to uh, create clean energy. I'm creating policy for global development. Um, because as global development has unfolded over the last 20 years, pockets of the world are being left behind. I think that's a major problem that needs creative solutions. I'm writing policy for returning residents to ensure that they have a safe and equitable pathway back into society. I want to create policy for access to health so that women and children will stop dying from preventable diseases. I'm doing policy for structural change um, because oftentimes policy affects opportunities and outcomes at a population level. So I want to be able to create that effective change for multitudes of people versus individual impact. I want to create policy for climate for small island nations because my home is in the Caribbean and we are often affected by climate events such as hurricanes and floods and I'd love to solve some problems of in my own town. I want to make policy for forgotten communities. I used to be part of communities that were forgotten until mentors and institutions like Harris took a chance on me. If they could take a chance on me, we start taking more chances on these communities so we can tap into their talent and uplift them and give them platforms like Harris has given to students like me.